this is where you tell me your name. Is it? Yeah. Why? Because it's what people do. Why? Because it's polite. Do I seem polite to you? Well, you could tell me your name and then we'd know each other and it would be less weird for us to be out here looking at stars together. We're not together. I'm not looking at stars. I got them at the store. They sell you beer. No, it's much more likely they fell from the sky. How old are you? Either police? No. Then what do you care? I got to Australia in the middle of 2010 and as you do, I hired a camper van and uh, went on a road trip into the outback and I'd never, I'd never even heard of Woomera and we stopped overnight at the campsite at Woomera and walked into town and it was just extraordinary. It, the, the office in the campsite has these pictures of planes dropping flares, you walk into town and there's this rocket park in the middle of this little town and the town was, the streets were deserted um, and it just made me think what an extraordinary place to write. Right. that idea to Our Isles um, and they agreed to co-produce it for The Fringe. Uh, I went back up to Woomera and talked to the people that live up there about what it's like. In particular, is interesting to me because, as well as having a background in theatre, I have a background in the history of science, and and I'm a total geek, really. And so uh, the the rocket research was really interesting to me. And Jess has lived in Woomera for about a year when the play starts, or two years, sorry. Um, and her parents have yet again told her that she's going to be leaving with them back to the city, um, but then her dad gets offered some more money to stay, so they stay, and she's pretty up, she likes to drink. There's not much to do in Woomera except get into trouble, and I think she's your typical, really your typical small town kind of girl. She, she makes her own fun, which is what they all say in Woomera, you make your own fun here. Um, but if she was in the city, she could probably be a little more inspired to to think about the future, which I don't think she does a lot when she's in Woomera. He's come to Woomera with his mum, who's just got a job there, and he he's sort of he's a bit optimistic. He thinks that this might be sort of a second chance for him. You know, he might because no one knows him there, so he might be able to make friends and sort of become the popular kid that he never was. And, yeah, he, he, meets, he meets this girl who's sitting there drinking and thinks that she could possibly be his new friend. He's sort of a bit awkward, but he still still goes, still gives it a shot. Doesn't he ride like he knows something? Okay. Don't say okay like my dad's an alcoholic. Sorry.